Hello and welcome everyone. We're the Stark Engineering Test Obstacle Team. We're excited to share what we've been working on all year with you. I'm Michaela. I'm Eric. I'm McKay. I'm Parker. I'm Corbin. I'm Caden. So we had the opportunity to work with ASI. We've built a test obstacle for them. They build um, autonomous kits. So you can put them in a vehicle and the vehicle will drive itself. However, they need to test this. So currently they just uh, drive around and they'll um, sense stationary objects, um, as you can see in the video here. Um, but that means that once it's sensed that you have to go out there physically to move the object or they have to reroute their software to steer around the obstacle. This is pretty time consuming. So they would like something that will move automatically into or out of the road and allow them to further their testing and get it more repeatable every single time. So in order to get a system like this going, that's what they gave us as our um, senior project is to design a more dynamic target system that they can hook up um, their own dummy to and it will move their dummy in and out of the road. Uh, ideally, they want it to be controlled remotely with an on-off switch, and they want it robust enough to withstand truck or SU impact and be able to withstand all weather conditions. They want it mobile enough to be able to move between their different testing tracks, and ideally they want it to be compatible with um, 110 volts power supply. So for the designer review, this video is just a little animation showing the test obstacle being able to go across the road. And we design it in a way that it can go um, bi-directional. So they'll be able to control it from the building anywhere on campus, um, the test dummy. And the five major sub-assemblies that we have for the test obstacle um, are the springs and cables and then the platform carrying the test dummy, the magnetic mount, which connects the test dummy to the platform the motor schools um, in the housing unit, as well as everything being controlled wirelessly by Laura. So we control uh, wirelessly over the entire campus with the Laura long range radio modules. The long range radio modules powers um, the motor, which spins two garage door spools in either direction and Either way, one of them will pull cable in and the other will let cable out to pull the platform across the road either way. This is our spring cable and stake system. The stakes are there on the other side of the road to make sure that we always have a good stable grounding for the cables to connect to and the springs are there to ensure consistent tension on the cables so they don't go loose. And then the magnetic mount is for in case the vehicle doesn't detect the obstacle and it collides with it, it protects both the vehicle and the test obstacle by disconnecting. And here we have um, our platform, which is what the test obstacle or what the dummy will be attached to. On the bottom, we have a sheet of plastic. And then on top of that, we have a steel plate for weight to prevent tipping. And then we have two screws, which is where the cables will be attached so that the platform can uh, move back and forth across the road. And we wanna say thanks to John, Eric, and Chris. Um, we're happy that they were great advisors to us during this entire project from ASI. Um, gave us a lot of encouragement and great ideas to um, help improve our project. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, we would uh, love to talk with you in our um, virtual meeting. Thanks.